Or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. on Kerfatu Live, I'm Lamin Cham, and welcome wherever you're watching us from to our weekly current affairs program. This week, more football on the menu because the Gambia has again continued to make history. We are now into the round of 16 at the African Nations Cup in Cameroon. We will have our football officials in the studio to preview what's up next and review what has happened for the Gambia's participation in the Africa Cup of Nations. We will start though with governance and political matters. I'm joined in the studio by Sheikh Humbalo. He is Deputy Presidential Advisor for Youths and he will talk us through to the, all the updates you need to know from the inauguration and of course the period leading up to the formation of the cabinet as well as the next presidential election and of course what next now for the newly uh, wedding, wedded or if you like or newly Christian Barrow administration. Mr. Barrow welcome to the program once again thank you very much for leaving all your schedules to come. Well Mr. Cham um, thank you very much for inviting me to the studio and uh, it's a pleasure coming. Maybe I should start by congratulating you because when we used to meet here the last time, it was in the tick of the campaign and uh, your opponents uh, used to come here and talk big and you were also talking big. But then now, uh, the, according to, well, as they say in idioms, the die is cast. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel that uh, your campaign have successfully, uh, you know, returned President Barrow to power? Well, um, Mr. Cham, um, first of all, I would like to congratulate, congratulate the Gambian people mm -hmm. um, for conducting themselves mm -hmm. peacefully mm -hmm. and uh, respecting the rule of law throughout the, um, the political process of the presidential election, starting from the nomination, mm -hmm. we went into the campaign period and onto the election day on the 4th of December. It all went well because of the Gambians loving for peace. Therefore, I would congratulate everyone for behaving like that. 
and uh, I would congratulate His Excellency, mm -hmm. the President of the Republic of the Gambia, His uh, President Adama Baro, mm -hmm. for also, I mean, creating the environment, that type of environment mm -hmm. um, to, for Gambians. Mm -hmm. Because if he had not created that situation, mm -hmm. Uh, we we would have not people would have not conducted themselves like that. Mm -hmm. But he showed the people, uh, he demonstrated to Gambians mm -hmm. that this is our country. It do, this country does not belong to me, Baro. Indeed, it doesn't belong to anybody. It belongs to everyone. Gambian. Let's try and maintain peace and stability in the country. Were you surprised about the large margin of victory that has been announced for the president? Well, I mean, Mr. Cham, you said it here. You said we used to come. I remember the last time when we came here, you said everybody talked big. Yes. I was here with Nyang Jai. Yeah, I remember I was here. And also. Yes, all of them. Yeah. And uh, people, everybody was talking big, including myself. Yeah. But I'm happy to be here today mm -hmm. to show the people that, yes, during the campaign, I talk big mm -hmm. and I have delivered big. <laughs> okay. Right? Because we have won election with a large. Uh, margin mm -hmm. and uh, I said it here during the election I said we know mm -hmm. according to our survey and uh, also according to our research mm -hmm. the Gambian people are with President Arma Baro and with the NPP party mm -hmm. MPP is going to emerge the winner President Arma Baro will win I said that mm -hmm. now what we were working I said what we were working for mm -hmm. is our margin to increase and we are trying to do that on a daily basis mm -hmm. to make sure we increase that and we did that everybody has seen that it is not easy i mean with this type of margin mm -hmm. and also the turnout we come we told people to come out this is their country mm -hmm. and this is their civil rights and uh, this comes every five years i mean this voting let them come out and cast their vote and you know and they will not have this opportunity until again and order five years for presidential election and they did that so really i am happy that um, i was here and i spoke big and i have delivered not me. Gambian people have delivered big. Good. Okay, your opponents are not here today, but uh, from all from their pronouncements and of course the actions they took uh, after, they are with the belief that the election was rigged, even though so far we have not seen any evidence, so to speak, because they said they wanted to prevent present this evidence at the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, unfortunately, did not entertain their, uh, I mean, their petition. They re want it to review that decision. Again, the Supreme Court would not review its own decision. But then they still claim that they have evidence that uh, the election was rigged. The, the election register was uh, fraudulently laden with uh, uh, illegit, ill, ill, ineligible voters, etc. Et among other things, of course, and uh, alleged instigation and incitement of, of people to vote on tribal lines. What do you say to these criticisms or these comments from the opposition? Well, I mean, Mr. Cham, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think whether this, uh, so anybody should waste your time on this type of criticism. Mm -hmm. Because with this type of a margin mm -hmm. of 200,000 difference, why should I waste, why should somebody waste your time mm -hmm. in agreeing? You want to tell me that 200,000 people, mm -hmm. we are foreigners? You want to tell me that? 200,000 people were bought with um, cooking pots mm -hmm. and also uh, what, what, what they claim, they say cooking pot and other things. Do want, do, do, who will take these people seriously with that? Mm -hmm. Definitely. It doesn't make sense. If the margin was like, two, if the margin was about 50,000 votes mm -hmm. or 20,000 votes mm -hmm. or 1,500, mm -hmm. people would have listened to them. Mm -hmm. People would have listened. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. Might be there was an error somewhere. But 200,000? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell me every Gambian is a foreigner? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell me everybody Gambian was given a cooking pot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Cham, it doesn't make sense. Nobody. That's why, I mean, and uh, what they are saying, um, uh, uh, I mean, with their petition mm -hmm. to review this thing, I mm -hmm. mean, um, the Supreme Court, I don't think they, they would have, I mean, the gut mm -hmm. to, to waste their time on this thing. Mm. I, I don't. I don't think any 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 legal-minded somebody mm -hmm. with what these people uh, with the, what the opposition mm -hmm. United Democratic was was claiming. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I, I don't think somebody some, somebody waste, would waste your time mm -hmm. with it because they knew 
there are almost 70, it's almost 70 distinct of the, throughout the country. Mm -hmm. Observers were all over, to every corner, even police throughout the country, from the nomination, mm -hmm. they were here. I don't know whether they know that. I don't know whether- Of I, course, everybody knows they were here. The Americans were here, mm -hmm. the European Union observers were here, mm -hmm. Equals observers were here. They were every corner. Mm. Yeah, but then the issue, they, their argument was, okay, these observers only observe the actual voting process. And, you know, everyone knows that election starts not just the day of the voting, but the period leading up to it, all the procedures such as registration, campaigning, etc. Now, they said the observers will only talk about the actual voting. Okay. And that's where they base their observations on. I mean, the opposition are saying that uh, they have evidence and the Supreme Court did not allow them to present this evidence. So they, they feel hard done by because if they believe, if they submit their evidence, they believe that uh, people of right thinking minds will believe them. So did you, you said the Supreme Court will not have wasted their time because the margin was too big. but. Somebody can say, wasn't it all also going to be fair or reasonably, uh, yeah, reasonably acceptable if we allow them to bring in their evidence? And we see, and we dismiss their evidence on merits and not just technical because they haven't done Rule 11 or so. Let me tell, let me tell you, uh, Mr. Cham, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, mm -hmm. everybody knows that elections, if they are to be rigged, they are they can be rigged through the registration. Mm -hmm. They can be rigged through the voting process. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Mm -hmm. But in the Gambia here, what happened here during this during the, this process of registration and elections, mm -hmm. there was no way somebody can because opportunity was there given to every Gambian from registration mm -hmm. that objection. There were revising courts. Revising courts yes. The and government and make sure that we, we make sure President Arabaro also told them that mm -hmm. let the revising court stand and nobody complained. Everybody has the right. Yes. If you see Se Seumbalo coming from somewhere and he's not eligible to vote and uh, to register, and he register, take him to the revising court yes. and bring your evidence. Mm -hmm. Se let Seumbalo or anybody. For example, I'm giving I myself know, yes. Seumbalo to and defend nobody. himself, whether he was born in the Gambia, whether he is a Gambian mm -hmm. uh, who is qualified to be registered. Mm -hmm. I think that is enough. Yes. The revising court was there. And nobody, nobody went there. Nobody went there. Nobody stopped them. I, I mean, if, if that happened, if they were stopped mm -hmm. from the revising court, mm -hmm. then we would have said, well, we, they pointed out at the revising court, mm -hmm. Mr. I, I mean, they stopped the judge, the magistrate, mm -hmm. they told them not to do it, or they stopped the IEC mm -hmm. not to do it. But who did you hear anywhere, any single case, mm -hmm. where somebody took something to the revising court and was rejected? Nobody, no party did. So that, that area is no-go area, mm -hmm. legally. Coming to the elections itself, to the voting mm -hmm. and to the campaign mm -hmm. and every campaign process, we all know what happened. Mm -hmm. Everybody was campaigning, mm -hmm. Mr. 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 Chair. Yes. We have seen government MPP people giving cooking pot. We have seen UDP people giving cooking pot, and that is not very normal in in politics. <laughs> If you go to a village whereby they, they complain, they told, tell you that Mr. Cham, here even when we have a naming ceremony to have a big Jindambali uh, Jindambali district, Jindambali to cook for the people, we don't have it. We have to go to the next village, Sabah Sanjal, or we have to go to Farafenir and rent. Can you help us? And you know that you really want to want them to be happy and, and to be with you. Are you not going to buy a gimba <laughs> That's what happened to but all. The, so that is. But does not does that amount to inducing them? So that means if that is inducing, yes. If that is in, so in, bo both parties are guilty. Everybody is guilty <laughs> guilty of buying a cooking pot. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that's what. Happened. So so no that so, cooking pot that cooking pot thing <laughs> is only PDOIs. I have not seen PDOIs <laughs> well, buying know. a cooking pot. Uh, <laughs> but. All the parties, <laughs> I have seen cooking pot flying everywhere. <laughs> Ginda Bali. <laughs> good, good. All right, moving on. Now that the president has been inaugurated and uh, he now has a big job to do, you know, all the things we talk about, the allegations of this and that, the polarization, the divisions, all are there yeah. up to now. Uh, the president has made it clear that he wanted all of them to come together 
But what, con what concrete terms you've been advisor? Do you think the president should work on to ensure that everybody is reconciled, everybody's wound is healed, and everybody can come to trust each other now as a nation and move forward? Listen, the president is the president. That is his aim and objective. That is to unite this country and reconcile this country. Mm -hmm. He has always he has called on the opposition all the time. To come together. This is our country. Mm -hmm. We this belongs to they are, we are all stake they are stakeholders to this whatever is happening in this country. So therefore he doesn't want to sideline them. He's not that leader. Mm -hmm. He's calling on them to come. Despite even this thing, you see, despite with their petition on whatever, but he instructed invitation to be sent to all across the country, all opposition political parties. Political parties party said they were not invited. This is, that is what we are, we, we, we don't know what happened. Well, we are trying to find out. They said out. they are not invited. That's what I heard that. Some, yeah. That's what they said. Yeah, yeah, we are course. trying to find out whether this was delivered. Only one political party head came, right? Dr. Sisi. Well, no, the, not the, Dr. Sisi. Oppos opposition. Opposition, I, I must tell you that my, 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 my party was sitting beside ah, me. Dr. Sisi was uh, is an Dr. opposition. Also, Dr. Sisi was sitting no, we saw not far away. Everybody confirmed. All the opposition, all the other people were there. No, I mean, when we talk about opposition, we mean, for example, those who contested against um, President Barrow. That's what we mean. Yeah. No, but, but I mean, yeah, okay. Any okay. Of them came? okay, you mean you mean the, uh -huh. the contestants? Yeah, exactly. Okay, the but main, what I'm telling you is people who are not with, with, with us, Opposition. Uh, me, I'm talking generally of opposition who ah, who, okay. who are not our island, uh, who does not have our, in, yes, our like coalition Dr. members, Cisse, like Dr. Sisi, my party, my party. party. Ah, but, and, even, but they were they were there. Ah, but even then, of late, they have been suspected or rumored to be very close to you. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, um, that's politics. You know, you know politics. That's yes. politics. Okay. We, right. we, 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 we cannot, uh, that one, we cannot rule it out. Okay, okay. That they were rumored, but I mean, what? They spoke their mind. Mm -hmm. My father spoke his mind. Okay. He, I had I heard of this thing. I saw it on the paper mm -hmm. that he said really he agreed the pre elections mm -hmm. uh, we are free and fair okay. because the way David was conducted. I think that is really mm -hmm. we cannot take that from him. He All believed right. that. Doctor Cisse also mm -hmm. he says he believed. He congratulated mm -hmm. because he has seen the, how the conduct. Mm -hmm. He has seen. The, 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 the number of observers that were all over the country and it, how it was conducted. Mm -hmm. Opposition parties were given a battalion of security mm -hmm. yes. run, running with them yeah. so that nobody, in, in, uh, no, no, nobody harassed them, yeah, exactly. nobody intimidated exactly. them, exactly. nobody obstructed their activities. Yeah, okay. So yeah. now, where, where, where can somebody say this was not free? Okay. No, no, nobody came out to tell us that we were prevented from voting at a polling station, so and so, I went there. They stopped me. They said, "I am, an, I am a government. I am an opposition." Mm -hmm. They arrested me, or I was detained. Well, there was no we have not had any complaint. So, I, really, that's the problem. Okay. The, the other factor they said that divided us during the politics was tribe. That's the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to mention it, but you cannot discount it. I yeah. mean, yeah. they accused your party of. Uh, inciting tribes to vote for Barrow against uh, the other opposition believed to be of a certain uh, tribe. In fact, one of your, uh, your your national president was heard on television saying that uh, all the ethnic groups have a problem because if these people come in, they're going to chase you out. You'll all have to go out of this. We all have that. That's well, that. well, we didn't hear any, okay. any comments or apology or comments of regret about that. Okay. Well, well I mean, with all fairness, mm -hmm. Prior to prior to our our, our national president mm -hmm. um, coming up uttering that um, statement, yes. did in Gam did Gambians mm -hmm. did didn't they hear um, the deputy party leader of UDP? Aji Yam Seka. Was on the same. He was condemned widely, though. He come. Dembo no. also. De Dembo also. Everyone was Dembo, condemned. Dembo also spoke his mind, and people condemned him. Mm. But then of course, they, 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 they let them stop about tribe. Mentioning tribe. Maybe it's the same thing. Both of them we are condemned about mentioning tribe. Hear, people didn't hear people like you, President Barrow, condemning him publicly. Well, uh, we we cannot condemn we cannot condemn them. But I think. You, the but all they say you accept he was wrong. We we uh, not accepting. You're uh, not accepting that he was wrong. The what what I saw it how the way I saw it. You were, that were, you, they, at, were you at that meeting in Baka or not? I was you not in Baka. Videos, I, I but was you not, saw the video. I was not there. I I saw the I, I actually I didn't see the video because I was busy in URR. Ah, okay. I was in UR throughout. I missed some of the but meetings. But you heard a lot about it. But I had people told me. Yeah, yeah. 
that this is what is happening. Mm. And uh, they said, Dembo uh, said uh, about tribe, this and that and that. But I mean, that me, I don't take that. That was regretful. Be because, because Gambians, what, what I believe is, mm. Gambians know what is good for them and Gambians know that nobody will divide them. Even the, those party leaders or national presidents who are speaking. Mm. Gambians know we are one. Mm. That one, I, I am very happy to say, the Gambians, they are matured. And, and they are they they, they, they are not tribalists. You're not bothered that if we are in government. Did that make any difference with Yam, Yam Seka? Did that make okay. with Dembo? Right. No, so it now, didn't. What, it wait, didn't. Are you not worried that if we are in government, we yeah. are supposed to be leaders yeah. who should initiate, people should follow us? Yeah. Should we be comfortable to say, okay, if the UDP behave this way, we are also afraid to behave this way? You you only mentioned that because UDP gave cooking pots mm -hmm. so it's not it's, there's no reason why npp should be condemned for giving cooking pots yeah. now you're telling me that uh, because yamseka said in baribu that uh, the baribu people should vote for Dabo because he's a mandinka so there's nothing wrong with uh, dembo by force also saying that uh, don't vote for udp because if you do that the all the other ethnic groups will be chased away. no no what, what i'm if saying we, if we are leaders i'm using i'm using the we, same yacht here yeah, but, but 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 should we as leaders mm. copy you know and be comfortable with uh, I think we should condemn each of them when it come, you know, and all of that. This is irresponsible. This is wrong. We cannot go this way. That's what we expect from leaders, especially those who are fortunate to be in the leadership. Yes, but well, I mean, Mr. Cham, mm -hmm. I mean, here I'm using the same yardstick mm -hmm. that I use on in terms of the campaign. Mm -hmm. you, you remember, I, I mean, you just mentioned it yeah. that I said both part, almost many parties use this cooking pot thing supporting. Campaign, mm -hmm. so I said that was irrelevant even to to, to go to, to court mm -hmm. because people are giving communi communists who demanded co cooking pots and the, people didn't take it seriously. But it's inducement anyway. Well, 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 well it, it, it it happened. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So also coming to the coming to this statement also on Yama Seka, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, what's the name? Yeah, yes, Yam Seka. Yes, Seka, Yam Seka, mm -hmm. and also people um, Dembo uh, by force. Mm -hmm. These are not officially statements coming from the party like writing a statement officially these are du during campaign mm. these are statement during campaign somebody is just over excited and uh, and talking so the same the same goes with yeah i am second yeah i'm second that's why you, did, did you hear our party writing a statement condemning it? but the gambian people condemn them don't start they don't condemn, start this thing condemn, yes yeah that's people condemn it yeah. but everybody many people condemn them mm. we didn't come up we didn't condemn it officially mm. no officially from the MPP came up and wrote a statement or condemn her. Mm -hmm. Did you see any? Mm -hmm. No official from the UDP mm -hmm. came under the condemn Yam Yamaseka. Mm -hmm. I have not seen that. Nobody. Well, it was but the said, Gambian condemned it. Was said it was a slip of the tongue. I remember one of their spokesmen. Well, they'll Dembo, well, Dembo also, we can say it's a slip <laughs> of the tongue. Okay. We can also turn that. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. That's, that's interesting. But let's, let's go forward. You know, all these things happen during the campaign. So, it's, 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 you know, you can't escape them. Yes. But then forward now, now everybody was thinking that, okay, with all this guru ha ha now over, what we expect the president to do was to get on the business immediately. But he surprised everybody three days ago when he said, well, I am not going to form a government, a new cabinet. I'm going to have, you know, all my ministers uh, in tax in a transitional uh, cabinet. At first he said caretaker, but when they realized that was not constitutional, they said transitional. But what, what difference does it make? I mean, you know that the cabinets are very instrumental in running a government. You've got a new mandate. You, people expect you to walk, go back to work, as one politician uh, said to us in, in criticism, of course. He said, let the president get to work by appointing a competent cabinet. Why do you have to keep the people who you might not last with them in the next couple, for the next couple of days? So why do you think, as an advisor, um, why do you think the president came well, out with this with this movement? well laming cham um mm -hmm. here for us what is important is we want to do anything that is in line with the constitution of this com this country mm -hmm. what president as long as what he is doing or what he does is in line with the constitution of the this country mm -hmm. is fine he has he is the best is the best person who knows what he is doing and the best interest of his government mm. so that one i mean to tell him you have to do this you have to do that i i think they really people will be pushing too much 
we should allow him to go with his transition as he stated mm -hmm. it's a transition uh, transitional cabinet mm -hmm. he's going to go with this transitional cabinet until such a time that he gets up and f and then uh, appoint a new cabinet mm -hmm. um that is going to come at any time because this is till further notice yes yeah, since he did not explain what he is doing mm -hmm. like if he had come out and said okay we are still looking out for people of why we might find competent in the meantime these people will stay until such time we complete our list of things in assessing those who suitable one would have understood but if you just leave it there that's open open opportunities for critics to come back and say like one said the last time that uh, they believe the president um wanted to make all these allies and good people work for him in the national assembly elections before dissing out any jobs to them so in other words, if we give out jobs now, some people may not be happy, and then they will break away, you know, or change their position. So in order to avoid that, the president said, okay, now we have to stay intact until the parliamentary elections. And in order for me to achieve that, well, let me keep everybody walking and loyal to me and the party until the president, uh, the parliamentary elections, then I can start dissing out jobs. Is that's, there any valid, is this, is this not criticism not valid? That, no, that criticism is not valid. That's not the point here. Mm. Um, you said the, until further notice. That's, 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 that's not the, the transition point. Transition until, no, until further notice. Further notice, Mr. Cham, that further notice. Two, two years time? But it can mean also two weeks to one month. Two, further notice means, further notice is un, unlimited. You so can, it that's, can. That's what makes it more puzzling for people who are expecting a new government and you tell them that well <laughs> i will do a transitional arrangement until further notice yes but so, so if the opposition said he wants he's waiting for april 9th elections you said that's not valid criticism you know that's not valid criticism as long as things are working what gambians co are concerned about is we want the president to be at work and we but know, you know he is going to be at work yeah but we is know it? that with this cabinet i mean you know, I mean, there have been open criticisms of some members of the cabinet, the way they handle things. Mm. I mean, what well, you would have expected, the president would say with a fresh mandate, look, you know what? I think I have to change here, change here. Yep. Yeah, but, but then, you know, if you Mr. still keep them there, I mean, you are keeping also the criticisms to go along with them. Yeah, but Mr. Cham here, with further notice, mm. he's not saying that he's not going to change them. If the president has said, said to the Gambian that this, I'm going to keep this, these are my cabinet, my new cabinet that I'm going to work with, then the criticism would have been genuine here. That, well, he's elected, we have given him a mandate, and that there have been criticism in the past, he has ignored them. But this is not the case now. The case is, yes, you have elected me, I have accepted, and I thank you very much. Now, I am, I, I, I'm, at, at the moment, I'm keeping my, um, this cabinet as a transitional ca cabinet until such a time I'll be appointed. He can get up within one week, two weeks, and start appointing ministers. He can do that. Now, what would you have felt? Who will stop him? Because it's, this is till further notice. Okay. But so he can do it within one month. He can do it within two months. He can do it within three months. Then Gambian will see he has started appointing. He's appointing. It doesn't necessarily mean that he has to do it, bam, at one go, that That's, a that new is, cabinet is here for that is, that is what is customary and traditional. Yeah, That's yeah that is what is customary. Yeah. But also in the constitution, there is nowhere stated that, uh, that you have to do it one go. Well, of course. That okay. you are compelled. We uh, know he has to. Okay. Now. The pres president has to appoint a cabinet. That is there in our constitution. We know that. All right. He and a vice president. He is not. That doing is mandatory by the constitution. He is not doing that. He said he's not doing that now. He's, now. He will go on with this one. Now let's talk about. Let's forget about what the public would. You know, I told you people perceive it to be a political game. Yeah. I mean, some people told us the people who we spoke to said. Okay, he has not broken any law, like you said. He, yes. He has not broken any law. Yes. Only that people expect him to get down to work as quickly as possible and not delay forming a cabinet. Like if there was somebody there whom everybody or he himself thought is a competent person, he mm -hmm. must have made his mind about people. Mm -hmm. Now that person has to wait. The country will have to wait for that man's service until when the president is satisfied that this is the time to, for that man to come. When well, actually the constitution said he should come. You know immediately with him now let's talk about those ministers themselves mm -hmm. let's forget about the public if you were a minister of education mr mbalo mm -hmm. now you had your boss saying that okay i will keep mr mbalo there mm -hmm. until in a transitional 
arrangement until further. Mm -hmm. How would you feel in these coming months and weeks, Mr. Mbalo, as minister in that office? Well, I would give him the due, res due respect because he is the one, he is the... Uh, but, but you wouldn't feel... He, the com he, he, you would feel all of a sudden in the office. I'd say, ah, you see this thing now, this man is saying that uh, we may go tomorrow, we may go... So you will... You well, they have to understand, whoever is there... <laughs> have to understand that there are thousand thousand Gambians qualified who to be staff as ministers. Yeah. That that one person. Permit person do not belong to anybody. Yeah, well you better tell me to go. So you cannot, if Mr. Mbalo is appointed as a minister and you are asked that you stay in here temporal, mm. that should not I should not be I should yeah, not but, be uncomfortable. But we the person do not be how many ministers serve, serve in those positions where these ministers are serving, Mr. Chow? Let us fair enough. But, but at least Let Gambia not no, make but, this but, thing but, an but issue. But at, least, at least they've been told that you have been you have now been relieved. They were not told that, oh, probably next week you will be going. They would, I mean, this is basically that's what you are telling them. Well, well, but as a Gambian who is patriotic, a patriotic Gambian, mm. that should not stop you from doing your, just do your work. Yeah, but you make, you do it on, with uncertainty. No, no, it's a, it's a mentioned the cabinet resumbles that he had done. That, mm. that, you got a letter that from today, effective today, you are relieved of your position. Mm. But if you tell me now that, well, well, you're going to be here, but uh, you can expect that in the next couple of weeks or months, you will go. That's what basically this transition arrangement is. If I were a minister, I would say, wow, so this is, uh, this is difficult for me to go to it. No, no, no. I'd rather be told that I'm going. Yeah, it's better than sitting down and they say, this is an arrangement that you... Mr. 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 Chair, mm. I think well, Gambia... Don't you think? I think it's very important for Gambia now to adopt this attitude. Attitude of if you hold a question... You believe that you own the position. That's not different, Mr. Mbalo. What I'm trying to say. Is if I give, I mean, I, know, anybody, anybody I have not can, seen any anybody problem can here. Be sacked. If no, somebody, listen, anybody any, can be sacked. Anybody, anybody, any government can, can be, be can, can be voted out. Anybody can be changed. Yes. Any cabinet minister can go. Yeah. But then you know what I'm telling. What makes it strange is that this time you're telling me that well, uh, you will be here for some time. You could be here for some time. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's strange. It's not strange. <laughs> okay. They have to. Okay. They have to adapt, adapt to that. Okay. The Gambian have to use to this transition thing, okay. and they have to use to the, their constitution what it permits and what it's what the constitution allow. Okay. This Gambian constitution give the president those the powers that he can go with the transition somebody. He can relieve you. He can appoint, and he has the powers like the foreign missions. The president is only the president who has the power to appoint somebody as an ambassador. Mm -hmm. In the foreign missions, mm. Gambian have to understand that if he says he's not going to appoint you or he appoint me for two years, he say come back. I'm taking but Mr. Cabinet, Cham. Cabinet, What's the problem? But cabinet is different. It's an integral part of government. Yeah, but these people have and the people of the Gambia also deserves a cabinet. You know, uh, I mean, just as the president needs it, yeah. the constitution provides for the Gambian people need it. They need to be told who is the minister. Uh, you know, <laughs> not not who will be minister tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, but, but he can get, get out in the next couple of weeks. I can see that. I mean, a lot of people is coming from different quarters, yes, criticism. Right. People are eager well, to know the new, but, but the new but cabinet. Why, the new why, cabinet, why, yes. New cabinet. But what all we can tell them is, let's go and be patient. It's coming. You know, of course, the president said that uh, majority of his cabinet will come from the MPP. The MPP and its grand coalition. Yes. You agree with that? I, yes, I agree with that. Many people say, I agree with that. I told him that probably he should give opportunity also to technocrats. He said, well, they could be there. Yes. But he thinks that before you go and appoint somebody who was sitting at his corner, you take somebody who has fought for you, defended your uh, principles and loyal. And his policies. Loyal. Because he said loyalty is very important. He told me that. Mr. Cham, mm. that's the fact. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think every, any, any, honest person mm -hmm. would believe that government leaders can only succeed if they have loyal people by their side. Mm -hmm. If you have people who are committed, mm -hmm. who believe in your ideology, who believe in your policy and programs, who want to see that you succeed, you have a good legacy. Mm -hmm. If you have those people by your side, mm -hmm. everything will go, go, go fine. That's why the president is saying that. Look at Look at uh, look at the United States and all, uh, elsewhere. Yes. When they come, they, they come with their people. Their team. Nobody should force you to work. Technocrat, technocrat. We have listen in the United States. You don't know how many technocrats have been put in, in put in jail. Lawyers. Mm -hmm. Do we know that? Mm -hmm. How many technocrats have been involved in 
big corruption, mismanagement, misbehaving, and the like. I name them. There are many. Right, and I have seen people whom you know, they are less educated, but they have integrity in themselves. They are patriotic. Okay. They love their country, so, so and see, they can deliver. So you see, that, is, that has been the... So, so that's, that's not a problem. See, that has been the quarrel between your government yes. and the class category of people who are known as intellectuals. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have perceived that your government is very hostile to intellectuals, um, not least because you, you, you felt that they made themselves too important, look low upon you know, the people who are in government, thinking that they know they could have done things better, and then you know they they, they look you know with, with, with uh, they look at the people in government with contempt. No. Many people believe that this kind of created hostility between your government and intellectuals. So you are not very receptive to intellectuals Mr. for one reason or the other. Mr. Now, Chow. how can Barrow use his second mandate to ensure? Because you cannot you cannot discount that these things doesn't exist. Many intellectuals sus are suspicious of the government's. Uh, I mean position you know you know let me say mr they are they are cold reception of intellectual thing mr Chap, uh -huh. let me tell you yeah do you want to tell me that i mean M in mpp mm -hmm. or in, within the coalition government we yeah. don't have intellectuals, intellectuals and who are loyal to the president that's what you want people think ah, okay. okay we have thousands and thousands thousand who are loyal to president Adam and they are intellectuals yeah. oh, okay so you better you be better recruit from there People who are loyal to him, yes. they will make sure that whatever they are doing, they think of the country, is, this is going to bring better for the country, this is going to do, bring better for the legacy of the president and also for the MPP. So you better, you better we better there. take those people, like taking that's somebody that's who doesn't care. Hmm. He will be there, I will say that I don't care. If this if MPP goes, maybe I will get chance to the next government coming. Would, that person don't care whether you succeed or not. Yeah. That's the attitude we are trying to point out. Okay. There are some people who will serve. I'm not saying in this present government here, mm -hmm. I'm taking you back, generalizing it. There are people serving in government in other places. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't, they, what, they, what they're thinking is for themselves. Even they would think that if I serve here, even if I do to the contrary to my lead, to, to the, my appointed, my appoint, uh, appointee, mm -hmm. Uh, to the person who appointed me, mm -hmm. I might have international appointment. I will not do what he wants. What, what this thing? So that I, I'm, I'm trying to build my uh, yeah, this yeah. thing credentials mm -hmm. so that I can have international appointment. Wow. That's what th those people are thinking on those, along those lines. But we want to have intellectuals who are thinking about the Gambia, not only for themselves. That you will have an internal UN will appoint you, AU will appoint you, somewhere you will appoint by the Commonwealth. You don't care about this government that you are serving. Mm. Uh, let me let me explain it that way. Mm. But if you have somebody who really believe that, well, President Adam Barrow is somebody. This man, he loves the country. He want Gambia to prosper. Mm. He want Gambia to have peace and tranquility. Mm. He, he we, as we should help him. I mean, um, deliver de deliver that um, that that dream. Mm. If you have somebody like that, Gambia will go better. That's what that's along the line. The president is talking about mm -hmm. it's not that he is anti-intellectuals mm -hmm. no but what he is talking about is people who are loyal to him mm -hmm. who believe in his ideology mm -hmm. that is gambia to go better mm -hmm. look at the opportunity given to the foot to the uh, youth and sport they are giving the I'm, i was coming to you now uh, I'm coming, i was coming to that okay now uh, you know you mentioned that there have been people who've been talking about this um, well, well it's important for the new government to look out for those who are loyal to them uh, they said because in the past, in the last five years, they've, they've, there have been cases where, well, they believe there have been cases where people were sabotaging the regime. Yes. Uh, that it was said. Uh, yes. I don't, know, I don't know how much evidence has come from that, but it's been said and generally felt. It generally it felt okay. from, the okay. from, from the parliament okay. level, from other right levels. Now, okay, now there are people who are cautioning your government that if you go about forming a new government and trying to, you know, so to speak, clean out all this perceived saboteurs, you may eventually, of course, you, you also run a risk of um, causing harm by by stigmatizing people all together and end up, you know, ended up uh, creating more instability than stability in the civil service. If you are advising the president along those lines, what would be your, what would be your approach? 
Well, I mean, I don't think whether somebody uh, that, that, that should be uh, something of an issue. Mm -hmm. Simply because we know, I mean, the president knows what he is doing. Mm -hmm. um, for him, he is not somebody who will go on, on, a, on, on, on a witch hunt mm -hmm. um, journey. Okay. That, that, that is out of it. Mm -hmm. What he is thinking about is people whom you know, the Gambian people. You said it here. Why do you think the, Gambian are, uh, the, the, the Gambians are eager? to see a new government because there is a reason okay, yeah. why can this why can then these critics say that keep this go, this thing and go with this cabinet mm -hmm. why do you think it is it, it, so it's because they want the president want to listen to the people mm -hmm. what the people are saying is get your loyal people whom you know when you when you tell them today impl implement this road make sure that this road is built within six months they do it I'm just giving you an example. I'm not saying it has not happened in the past. I'm just giving you an example. Mm -hmm. This is what the Gambians are looking for. Mm -hmm. People who are loyal to the president. When the president think about building a hospital mm -hmm. in, 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 let's say, Brufood, mm -hmm. you help, that person would help him make sure that Brufood, in the Brufood area, they have a hospital. Mm -hmm. they, he would help him in all, in different areas, areas. in different means, mm -hmm. to make sure that the president realized his dream. This is why people are saying a new, a, this thing, a new cabinet. Mm. So he also has felt it. Okay. That the reason they are telling him that is because they want to want him to have somebody, a uh, people whom you know they will be. They, 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 they are going to be people whom you know they will help him realize his dream. Mm. That's all. Okay. Now let's go to your area. Specifically, you advised government and the president on youth matters. Yes. Now, um, well, whether you agree or not, there, there have been people who said the last five years have not been uh, not much attention. Well, there have been attention, but let's say not the desired attention expected has been given to the youth. Do you agree with that? I disagree with that. Okay. Why? I disagree because if, if that was so, mm -hmm. then the scorpion, that this, the, the, I mean, with, with, with their performance now, if they were oper operating under a hostile government, mm -hmm. a dictatorial government, mm -hmm. this thing would have not happened. Okay, that is youth and sport, yes. Okay. That is youth and sport. Mm -hmm. You cannot have this type of performance mm -hmm. and you blame the government. That, they, that means they are encouraged. They are giving the space. No interference, no dictatorial. Nobody is dictating them. Yes. The president, as president of the republic, let me tell you, I mean, Mr. Cham, you know better, you are a journalist. Okay. If, he is a, if he was a dictator, and he interfered with the scorpion and the sport department, everything would have crumbled. Now, let me just help So you. that is, let, let, let me help anybody you. thinking along that line no, let me help should you. know. Let me help you. That is sports. Yeah. We're dealing with youth. The youth. You, you know, General. I, I know that sports is very important. Time. It's a youth activity. Okay. And of course, we all know that the government invested a lot in sports, especially okay. football. Yes. And in a greater way, the government is actually responsible for some of the successes that we are, which in fact that will be our next like topic. Like Gina, Gina and, and, and other team, yeah, Gina performance and next topic encouragement. In, next, yes. next topic in this program. But okay. then, that is sports, but there are other youth endeavors yes. involving youth. That's not sports. For example, okay. youth unemployment. You have had this phrase been spoke. Of course, there have been great steps like the Take Fee Initiative, that the government collaborated with donors to get people uh, believe that they can really make a good living here in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. But there are still a large catchment of youths who suddenly have no jobs and basically they don't have opportunities. Mr. Cham, I mean, Rome was not built in a day. Mm -hmm. you, people must understand that. Mm -hmm. This government, I mean, took up, inherited, mm -hmm. I mean, a system. We all know, we don't, we, we don't need to explain. We know what happened. And uh, we, we know what happened, you, what youth we are f facing. Mm -hmm. We have create, we, this government has create, is creating mm -hmm. the environment for youths to stay here comfortable, making them to believe that this is, the, they are the future leaders of this country. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's what we are trying. Give, the, let the youth, already there are opportunities. We are building, we, I said it here over the, and the over. The Ministry of Youth continue to get the list amount of money in, in terms of budgetary allocation well the reason is there 
there are, there are many the there are many many uh, um, reasons we all know mr cham mm -hmm. i mean gambia is not um, we all know financially gambia is not that yeah, but then if we tax the youth sector is very important then we give them a pittance compared to other areas um, i mean you you can you, you you'll find it difficult to uh, give any excuse if they tell you that well they, they neglected our sector well this that is going to be addressed but i know what i know is now our f attention is on the youths we really want to we want to give them the opportunity we want to have our youths we want to have our youth empowerment i mean empowered in this country because what we we, we mr cham myself the president and other people who are serving the government do you think in the next five, ten years we'll be able to do what we're doing? Now? We'll, be, we'll keep, but we want to have our youth take over. And how can we do that through this youth empowerment? We are going to create that with this gov new government coming. We make sure that there are so many projects for the youth. That's what we're going to do. Look at this scholarship that we are giving. Can we to expect you. many youth members of the cabinet coming? It's possible. <laughs> are you advising that? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's possible. There are many ways the youth can serve without being in the cabinet. Yes, of course. Let's of course. In the youth. Okay, let's they, they can be in the civil service. Let me talk about it, yes. We can, they can be in the security sectors. The president himself the youth. said this is going to be a youth-led... Yes. Uh, new, yeah. Uh, government. Yes. So they, there are many sectors that the youth can lead mm -hmm. and they can, they can make progress for this country. They can, be in the, they can be in the civil service. They can be in the security sector. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that they can hear that. Many sectors in the business sector and, I mean, in the, in the scientific sector, mm -hmm. in the medical sector, they can lead and th th this country can grow we believe that we know how we we know where we are focusing we know what can progress a country finally uh you were involved or yes. probably you were at the inauguration yes. ceremony a lot of people raise issues about the organizational nature of the programs people said seating arrangements or perhaps it was too late in fact it took it took a long time for uh, the actual proceedings to go ahead what what led to that? Is there any valid is that a valid criticism that the organization was poor? Well, first of all, I have to apologize. Mm -hmm. I have to apologize to the whole nation mm -hmm. as an advisor to the president. Yeah. I mean for the manner mm -hmm. um the inauguration went. Ah, so you are accept, you accepting that there are problems with organizations? Well, I mean I, I mean, I mean Oh, as far as the Gambian, I have reached. Uh, listen, are, I'm a human being. You are, you are, I have seen what always, I have seen the criticism you are coming. Always frank with your, your yes, so I, I must apologize, mm -hmm. and I must tell them that the I mean I mean the inauguration pro, uh, process mm -hmm. or program was not handled by the NPP party. Make that very clear. Who, who that handled it? What happened was this: um, the inauguration. We we believe. It is a state matter. A national matter. A national matter. Yes. Therefore, a national ma matter is not only the MPP. Mm -hmm. All the parties, mm -hmm. all the Gambians, even people who are not partisans, mm -hmm. should, should uh, this thing is their program. Provided they are invited to take part. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why we handed it over to the civil service, the, to the government, to the state machinery. I see. This thing was handled from the vice president. Mm -hmm. Vice president selection, uh, the committee was selected from there. They handled it, selected a committee working with the protocol division, mm. protocol heads mm. and units, and they were the people who handled this thing. But so if, if, there, if, if, there, if there is anybody who one way or the other was, um, was, was unhappy or was disrespected, we, I, I will offer, we definitely we apologize for that. What, what it was not our intention. We have handled so many programs here. You know, oversight of the fact that it may be a government function, but you know, it has a political angle. For example, when President Barrow was inaugurating projects, that was a government function, but the NPP mobilized his supporters to make it a successful thing. Yes. So you couldn't do this with this one. Well, but this one, this one, we thought this one is the inauguration with a second term. Coming with a second term, every Gambian should see that now this is a state thing, we are all involved, we are all part. That's why, even if you look at how it was conducted, it was the governors. It was the governors that we are dealing with the with the with the with the committee with the civil with, with the uh, um, with the civil service organizing committee. It was the government, not our mobile regional mobilizers. You don't see any regional mobilizers there. You don't see our 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 regional chairman. They were not the people who are leading mobilizing and bringing people. 
they would have Mr. Cham, it, it, if it was the NPP who organized, entirely organized this thing, people, millions, a lot of Gambians would have been there. Full power. You, you have seen the inauguration. You have seen, you, you have seen the nomination. But this one, we left it. They said we leave it with them. It's oh, the, civil, the, the, okay. the civil servant. But on, Although we made a mistake. Yeah. We made a mistake. I must admit that we made a mistake. Mm -hmm. We should have not accepted that. As somebody who is a president who is coming from a party, mm -hmm. We should have not allowed the civil service, civil service to handle this thing. All alone. Yeah. All alone. We would have taken our, we would have joined them, tell them that, listen, the president is coming from MPP. Therefore, we will play our part. We are going to do the mobilization for people to come. But we also, I mean, with full due respect, we gave them, we say, well, you can carry on. You can conduct it. And even the invitations, yeah. we are handled by them. That's why we have in this type of criticism you, coming you, from the political parties, from think, even our alliance mm, members. You don't think uh, it was also a blunder that the government refused? Because I say refused because people have demanded a public holiday. I mean, if the government felt that this was a national event, I mean, if you say it's a government national event, say it's only natural that you declare a public holiday. Nobody's going to kill you for yeah. doing that because it's a national event. It's a national event. But the government did not do that. They didn't. They if didn't. people want to go to work and come there, it would have been a problem. It would have been a problem. Wasn't that too a problem? Also, my, my, uh, we don't know for what reason why they didn't deliver the public holiday. And also, and it, because it might be also the actually. civil service, the committee, yeah. I don't know whether they put into consideration of the COVID, but I don't think whether that is an excuse. Oh, no, that's the the COVID is out of it. No, no, that's, that's the COVID is out of it because worldwide, everywhere yeah, we have yeah, seen people gathering. So that's why I said I apologize. Mm -hmm. I must apologize, Mr. That's the fact. Ah, that's we true. made an error. Made an error yeah. If the government make an error, that means Seumbalo make an error. Because I am part of the government. I cannot take my head off of this. But, but because I should have insisted mm -hmm. that this thing cannot happen. Because when there is a blame, when the president is blamed, mm -hmm. or when he fails, say Umbalo cannot take his... I am part of it. I should have insisted that this committee, the MPP, must participate, must do their mobilization. So, so therefore, the failure is not only the civil service, including say Umbalo. We apologize. You know, of course, why... Uh, it, it all this came up is that I mean this has played into the hands of your critics who said well yeah. you know you claim to have 400,000 voters you can't even fill the stadium three quarter way yeah. and you had a lot of goodwill you continue to have a lot of goodwill in the region we have eight presidents unprecedented eight presidents unprecedented in any swearing in even on the Sadawa da Jawara only summits can bring those huh? things together you have Mr. them here Mr. Chow. you have them here Yet you put up a lackluster performance. Mr. Chairman, that's a fact. Hmm? The truth hmm. must be told. Yeah. That's a fact. We are by we are getting this that has never happened. It's historic. A president come in for the swearing of a president. Even the even from the airport, yeah. Gambian everybody coming should have known that a president everybody is going is to be so every, President Adam Barrow exactly. pictures, photos, Absolute billboards should have been everywhere throughout the country, everybody. every border. There should have been more That's noise. the fact. There should have been great There noise. should have been drumming, celebration that Gambian people have done that. Not only MPP. I tell you. Gambian people have done that. Yeah. They have done an election peacefully. Yeah. And the president has won. Yeah. Drumming should have in, been in, 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 Sere, in the street of Serekunda. Yeah. The president who came yeah. should have seen that at the independent studium. Yeah. Yeah. Buhari, Mark, Makisal, yeah. all these yeah. presidents should have seen it at the studium. Yeah. Gambian jubilating, Absolutely. dancing. But it, it didn't happen. We apologize. We are very sorry. Thank I'm you. telling you this. Thank you. Thank you. That's what happened. Well, Chehu Mbalo is the presidential advisor, deputy on youth affairs. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on the brunch. We hope to have you more as the new government uh, continues uh, to uh, serve us. We are very much grateful, as usual, always. For accepting to come to the south thank you very much i mean thank you mr mr cham for inviting me thank you. and uh, the reason why we we always want i mean we cannot sideline the media mr cham oh yeah any serious government any democratic government mm -hmm. would be friendly to the media Absolutely. because otherwise what you are how will people know what you are doing yes. how we how, you are the people who will bring out the truth oh, and i appreciate your frankness you thank know. you thank you very much Thank you very much. Right, the brunch will continue, of course. We will discuss our participation in the African Cup of Nations, where the government has already, already made several milestones. We are into the round of 16, uh, and all those things will be discussed with our panel list of uh, 
GFF technical and administrative officials. Mr. Barlow, thank, congrats, you. thank you very congrats much. to the president. Tell him we, we saw him. Uh, we saw Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Continuing the program, we will go now to talk about 
the Gambia's participation in the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations taking place in Cameroon. The country has now reached the knockout stages and we are taking on Guinea on Monday for the rights to play the quarterfinals. Uh, that is already a land, I mean, I mean a landmark achievement for a country that has just started playing with the big boys. So even if the party should stop here, I hope it doesn't, the Gambia really have made a name for herself in global sports. Now with me in the studio to do the rides for what has happened and what's expected are of course my panelists as of last mm -hmm. week, Alaji Fahid, executive member of the GFF and respected retired international referee. Sang Dong is an uh, international goalkeeper and <laughs> coach, now serving as uh, director of uh, technical matters at the GFA and Al Haji Bakari Jame. Well, I've never known him to have gone to <laughs> Mecca, maybe for as a tourist. He's been there, yeah. He's been there. Yeah, yeah, he for is sure. the first vice president um, <laughs> of the GFF, responsible for many of the transformative agendas and programs that uh, are happening there. So, gentlemen, welcome. Thank In fact, you, I am lost. I don't know where to start because when we were last week, we were worried yeah. as to what Mali may bring forward. We're going to the second match after winning uh, Mauritania. We've been through Mali, we drew, and you know, to cap it all, we beat Tunisia. Uh, come on, in a very nice manner. That put us <laughs> second in the group. Which now means we are not going to the, you know, knockout through the back door, which mm -hmm. is the best, I mean, the third best place. But in fact, we are going there through our own merits. It couldn't have been better. Sang. Thank you very much, Lamin. Yes. And uh, when we came last week, yeah. I think uh, I've got what I, more than what I asked for. My prediction will go for four points and get the best start. But it's always good to shoot low, yeah. then you can always yeah. grow or yeah. you can always improve. We ended up with seven. So five. we end up with seven, and uh, we are second place in our group. Mm. And, we'll and, and you know, seven beginning. was more than some first places in other groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do agree, and I, that's why I, I was spoiled for. I was spoiled for choice. Yeah, I expected for they gave us seven. So as I said, we have to jubilate until the next game, which is against Guinea. And uh, one thing is, uh, it's nice to be underdog. <laughs> it's nice to be underdog. Okay. Yes, Max. <laughs> How was the last week for you? Thank you, Lamin. Uh, I think the world is awakening to the work that we are doing here in the Gambia in terms of football. Uh, this project uh, started a long time ago um, and I think we've seen the end result. Uh, the coach has said it. Uh, uh, we used to be uh, actually laughed off when we say we will rebrand and rebuild football in the Gambia. Uh, well, we had a plan, we stuck to it and uh, today we, we arrived. Gambia is known, all the major international newspapers are carrying us, and uh, we are among the 16 best African teams at the moment. Right. Uh, well, finishing second for me was, was really good, uh, <laughs> because I think we avoided Nigeria, like what many people say. Yeah. Uh, you never know the way we are playing. We can play with Nigeria, certainly. We can play with any team. Uh, now in the in the continent and maybe uh, even beyond. So uh, we are happy. Uh, it has brought our country together. Everybody has has, has rejoiced. Uh, we are happy that uh, uh, we're taking seriously, and then we hope more importantly, at the end of all these, when the rankings come out, we will start occupying our real position in in world football. Because certainly, uh, we are not in the last 10. Our results have shown that. But certainly, 150 ranking is too low for us. This is because we have been suspended from international football. Our activity was slow. And then CAF, oh, sorry, FIFA has changed uh, the rules, uh, kind of like protecting the bigger countries which are up there. We'll but certainly we will climb to, we'll sure climb to that. You are, you, are, you, are getting, you have in mind the draw, but the next <laughs> we'll come yeah. to that. I like, yes. how was it? Yeah, fine. Um, 
Of course, as Bakari said, um, everything is about hard working. I remember in those days when they used to call us peanut boys. <laughs> or you go to Sierra Leone, they say this Bobo, then Bobo. Mm. Now they are calling us Gambia the Giants. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's uh, meaning, meaning that it was all about hard working. And I'm definitely um, convinced that I will go higher in this tournament. We will skip our Guinea, mm -hmm. uh, definitely, because of I know what is about at stake, and we are going for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, technically, how have we fared? You know, we had that initial three points. Of course, three points very important if you if you really are preparing to go to the next round of any tournament. Your first match, we won. That was good. Well, we, you know, going to Mali, we did, you know, there was this apprehension uh, here, fear that, well, Mali could probably be better than us. We drew them. They had a penalty. We had ours, I think. That's how it went. Yeah. Um, from that on, we grew. Uh, even though the team, uh, the, the, the coach made a lot of changes, but we seem to have an even more spectacular victory uh, over Tunisia than even Mali. I think uh, everything started with the match against Mauritania mm -hmm. because we started with the right foot. Mm -hmm. Like we normally said, when you go wake up in the morning, start with your right foot, it's good luck. Yeah. And we started uh, with our right foot. And uh, that match, the draw, the draw we had against Mauritania, start giving the boys the confidence for them to believe in themselves. Then going into the Mali game, it was another one. They got there and I told you uh, the difference between our team and these other teams are the organization. Uh, even whether it's defending or attacking, they're doing it as a team. And the team spirit behind the screens. Uh, you can see them wherever you see them. They're all enjoying the stay. They're all enjoying the camp. And uh, going to the third game against Tunisia, it was done, but it's good for the records. Mm -hmm. When you count how many times did Gambia play Tunisia yeah. and who won and who, who lost. Yes. And so I said here last week that the, Guinea, the, the Mali game is going to be uh, speed, agility, technique against mm -hmm. tactical team, a very organized, a very composed team, and it worked out to be the same thing. Mm -hmm against Tunisia, you see, they will come out all out, but they play as individuals. The players got more advantage to express themselves. Get the ball, dribble, shoot, do that. But we are doing ours as a team, what the team requires. When it's to kick, you kick. When it's to pass, you pass the ball. And when we should sit back, we sit back. When we should apply pressure, we apply pressure. Because even if you say we sat back against uh, Mali, Mali. They, they, they had a penalty. Uh, in the 80-something minutes. Yeah. We got there in the inju almost injury time. Uh, ex at the time, we had our own penalty because the boys went out and yeah. they c and these guys yeah. caused the penalty and we had a penalty and we scored. Of course. The same thing yeah. again against Tunisia. Yeah. We sat back, we wait for them and it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. If you don't have, if you don't strong mentally, mm -hmm. it's frustrating mm -hmm. when a team sits back and you just do the correction, correction, correction there. And all the corrections got their answers mm. because the boys were there on time to stop them. The answer is you cannot score. Mm. I'm going to the flank, I'm coming, you won't score. I'm coming through the middle, you won't score. Long range, close range, all those things happen. So it's a very composed and organized team. And football is a team game. It's mm. not like athletics ah, or golf game football. that you play for yourself. It's a team. And the more cohesiveness mm. you have in your team, the better for your team. And the more confidence and belief they got in the coach and the, his tactics, it always works. We will come to that, especially in the, in, in the, <laughs> of the one coming. Uh, I mean, yes, uh, Bax. Um, now, I want to look at the administrative part. The team is moving to uh, bu bus of, bu I don't really call it Buffer Sum or something like that. Buffer Sum, Buffer Sum. They're moving now. That is uh, ending their sojourn in Limbe. Uh, they, they move on to that. There were concerns, perhaps, that the change of uh, venue accommodation and, and perhaps the plight of the fans could also really be a problem. From what you know from the delegation, uh, how are they coping with this new uh, movement? For, for the, I'm glad you, you brought this up. I would rather today let's talk <laughs> the, uh, the technical <laughs> side and then we talk about the yeah, organizational yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Because you will agree, yeah. uh, and then sometimes I think uh, the uh, viewers uh, do know, but we remind ourselves that it takes a lot of effort uh, of many people to ensure that uh, 
what we are doing in Gambia mm -hmm. is to have the best team, mm -hmm. not the best players. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the best team yeah. uh, on the pitch mm -hmm. and off the pitch. Off the pitch. Uh, we at the exactly. GFF, that mm -hmm. is what we set ourselves exactly. out to. Mm -hmm. Yes, the team have moved from Limbe yeah. uh, to the new venue. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they flew out um, yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was a short flight, but a very long journey, mm -hmm. uh, we are told. Um, they're in Cameroon, they're in Africa, yeah. traveling in Africa. Yeah. Within the COVID time, is actually very difficult. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as well, when, when they go to their new venue, mm -hmm. the accommodations uh, in, in Limbe uh, was much better. Uh, there were other teams that were living uh, with that. I, we understand that um, I think Malawi, Kevar, Kevar, yeah, Malawi, Malawi and Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe were there yeah. before. Even Kevar, which has a bigger yeah. delegation size in number yeah. than, than us, mm. had to go out uh, two hours to, uh, from, from, from the hotel yeah. where they stay in to look for accommodation for extra people. extra people. So it was not the best reception mm. yesterday. Mm. It took a long time uh, to, to travel. Mm. Uh, short flight, mm -hmm. but from the airport to the hotel was about two hours, and it ah, took more than three okay. hours to be able to to settle oh. to settle in. Yeah. And the accommodation was not the best. There are uh, it's it's like bungalows when you have uh, four people in different rooms in bungalows. I understand oh. it's nowhere near where we are. It's mm -hmm. just uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But however, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the team is there to do the job. Mm -hmm. uh, they've taken on their chin. Um, they, they, they adjusted, mm -hmm. they, they had a, 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 sleep, uh, uh, a good night, sleep mm -hmm. under the circumstances, mm -hmm. and they are preparing uh, for the match, for the job on Monday against uh, Guinea. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Africa. Some mm -hmm. of us have taken part mm -hmm. in, in competitions, in African competitions, mm -hmm. uh, as, as members of the organizing committee for CAF. The conditions are not, not the best mm -hmm. all, all the time. I recall when we were in... Um, the under 20 in, in Niger yeah. in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> it's very under very difficult circumstances yeah. that happened in a place in Maradi in Niger. It's difficult, yeah. but this is it. But it is not distracting this team. Okay. We are not there on tourism. Oh, I see. We are not there to make numbers. Okay. We are there to make the country proud. You yeah. can see that mm -hmm. the entire process of this project, this yeah. tournament. Yeah. The motivation has never been money, mm -hmm. not for the team, the players, yeah. not for the coach and the coaching staff, okay. not on the side of the, of the GFF. Mm -hmm. The motivation is to write history right. so that Gambia can take its rightful place uh, in the footballing world, like we should take our rightful place in any other in any aspects other level, yeah. uh, as a country. Because okay. we end out with talent, we are people, mm -hmm that are proud mm -hmm. and that love our country. So they are there to do that, regardless mm -hmm. of the uh, unfortunate situation, regardless of the un, uh, discomfort, okay. they are focused, I am Fantastic. told. Fantastic. And we will hear proof of that from mm -hmm. both of us itself. Uh, I don't know how right have I pronounced that uh, uh, town's name in, in, in Cameroon where the Scorpions have moved on to, because Babukar Kamara, director of marketing and communications at the GFF is on the line from Bofferson. Did I get it right, Bakari? Uh, let's, let's sort out that first. Where is and how is this city or town called? Bofferson. Bofferson. Thank you, uh, yeah. uh, We are in the, in the outskirts of uh, Bofferson, uh, a small village called uh, Bana. That is where we are lodged. Uh, this is where uh, the likes of uh, Burkina Faso, Malawi, and Zimbabwe we are lodged. Uh, Good. Uh, there have been concerns here that, uh, well, the place may not be as comfortable as where town uh, or, or, or yeah, where you were in the last uh, two weeks or so. I think uh, we have to understand that um, when you come to the African Cup of Nations, uh, everything is uh, being organized by the African football through the organized local committee, and uh, each team is. Uh, Uh, provide uh, 
think you're losing Babka. Yeah. Are you there? Hello, can you hear me? There is uh, an issue with the line from uh, Cameroon. Hello, can you hear me, ba Babka? I can hear you loud and clear, Cam. I yes. don't know why you can't hear me, but I can no, hear you. The line was shaky. You are not audible. Okay, I think it has to do with the internet. Uh, exactly. Like I said, we are not in the city. We are in the outskirts of the city. It's mm. a village, actually, where we are. Mm -hmm. So, yes, like I was saying, um, CAP gives uh, a room for to accommodate 40 people for each delegation. And uh, as a result, each team, you know, is being given two team, two, uh, two players to a room. So if any uh, country is not uh, comfortable with that, then you can go and arrange for extra accommodation. But it has to be at a hotel. Good. What about the fans? The journalist. And the journalists. Let me let me clear the issue of the of the uh, of the team a little. Uh, okay. Yeah. So when we were in Boya, it was a similar experience in Boya. But uh, luckily for us, there was a, a hotel uh, opposite uh, the parliamentarian called Mountain Hotel. So that was where we made our own arrangement at the at the at the cost of the Gambia to to to, to lodge the delegation uh, at that opposite hotel. Uh, so that the players will each have a room because uh, you don't want to risk the players one player having COVID and then the, the roommate uh, is not uh, eligible to play as per the rules. So that's what happened. When we came to uh, to, to Bana here, the hotel that we are is called La, La, uh, Hotel La Ville in Bana. Um, we are here a lodge with uh, Cape, Cape Cabo Verde, that's Cape Verde, mm -hmm. and we both facing similar experiences. But unfortunately, there are here there are no extra rooms that we could uh, could could arrange. And so that uh, all the players are, are, are um, you know, are, are, are one to a room. You know, I think you must have read the news that uh, it happened to Gabon. Mm -hmm. They moved their team out of the hotel identified by CAF, and then they were, they were, they were actually, you know, sanctioned and car, you know, fined by CAF. So that is the situation here. But uh, it is two players to a room, two officials to a room. No single person here is 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 is, is enjoying that where one person is in a room. So that's what I want to clear. When you come to the to, to the fans, um, what I'm being told is that uh, the fans will, will drive from from Limbe uh, to to uh, the internet has yeah. Uh, we are here temporarily. If we win this game, uh, we are supposed to meet against Cameroon, and that match is not going to be played uh, in Bafu Zambia. Uh, we've been told that the match will be played in Douala, so you cannot move the team here. But first of all, there is a hotel problem here but secondly also if you move them to Bafusan here and then you know we, we, we cross to the next round also then you have to move them it's a logistical nightmare so do so you the, team, the, the fans will travel to Bafusan mm -hmm. uh, they will drive I mean it's about what a uh, four and a half hours drive mm -hmm. from from Limbe to Bafusan about five hours from Limbe to Bafusan mm -hmm. and then they will go back Depending on on depending on, on on the outcome of the match, so if we are to to to, uh, to qualify to the next stage, which is Duala, then I'm sorry, the, the team will just head straight to Duala. Then. Well, yes, quite quite a, quite a logistic yes. moment there. So, any other team or anything about team news or whatever? Well, of course, we had, and I think we have exhausted the Steve Trawale, uh, you know, departure. I think that's now history now. But any other latest updates there? Good news, of course. Are you there? Yeah. In the Gambia. We are going for training. Then tomorrow is another training. But before the Gambia, we must have a training. Wow. Babukar. I'm not sure where Yes. Is. Well, Babakar, we have to thank you very much for updating us uh, uh, from Cameroon and we wish to you and the Scorpions and the traveling fans there, because today they are traveling, <laughs> a very safe journey. And we all hope and pray that on Monday we will find a new settlement in Douala where we will meet the Lions themselves. Thank you, Cham.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Bakari sang an alaji. That was Babukar in uh, Cameroon. Um, yes, we talk about uh, the accommodation. I mean, they have been, you know, you know, early anxiety that, well, we have four to a room or et cetera. But he's saying that it's two to a room. And of course, he described that this was organized, set up by CAF, and other teams have to endure the same things. So they are putting up, they're keeping up. The good thing is they, they, they are not complaining. Certainly, there is an organizing committee for CAF, which normally the president of CAF is the, is the chairman mm -hmm. that has overall responsibility in management in general. Mm -hmm. But there are a local organizing committee, a central local, and also the, every region will have your own organizing committee. And they are responsible for the organization and all these logistics exactly. uh, capped at 40 person delegation. So if it is bigger than that, uh, the member association or the, the country itself will have to do your own arrangement. This is what is. But we. <laughs> but don't you think, that doesn't this all come to lend credence to critics that the preparations in Cameroon was, after all, <laughs> not, not very good or not complete in time for the tournament? C certainly, if you look at the way the things have been evolving, Even the pitch um, have been criticism uh, Cameroon the was not 100% uh, yeah, ready. ready. Uh, we were also, even a week before the tournament, there were very strong. Yeah. Um, rumors that uh, they are thinking of even cancelling yeah. the tournament or postponing it yeah. further. Yeah. Uh, but the CAF president came it with a very strong statement and said it has to go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, the things uh, you see on television, the quality and all the analysis, uh, certainly some work uh, could have been done. But, but I mean, we are here now. Yes. Uh, we are in the second yeah. uh, round, uh, the round of 16, uh, the tournament is, is going on. Um, I think uh, our team has the ability to adapt mm -hmm. to the conditions and, and perform. Uh, we're doing that. Okay. That's the most important thing. Good. Let's look forward, Sam. Um, the Guinean former cap cap was a captain, uh, now called Kabajar, has been talking about our team. He said he saw Gambia. He, he believed we play more. We are a very defensive team. Um, he said, uh, yes, he expects us to be even more defensive too. He, but he said he almost write, uh, you know, write us off to say we won matches that we didn't, you know, in which we didn't play better than the opponents. Uh, I mean, and, and I'm sure that's the attitude they're going to take us. Even though I heard of more weird uh, pronouncements <laughs> allegedly from Dumbuya, that's the head of the junta there, that we are uh, we are we are juju people. <laughs> we are juju people. I don't know this. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, so what, what do you think should be the coach's approach to Guinea? Because uh, Guinea is, well, they, they're going without key player like Nabi Keta and Isaac, uh, Isaac Jao or some, something like that. But what should be our approach to Guinea? Uh, you remember this is a knockout, one match situation, and every stick more than any other match. I mean, I can fully remember when I was a player Mm -hmm. And one of our officers told us, the worst thing in life is if you are being termed as you are neither a, neither fish nor meat, mm. you are nobody. I see. I prefer you insult my <laughs> mom or whatever mm -hmm. than telling me you are neither fish nor meat. No meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know they know what we've got. That's our strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for human beings, mm -hmm. you try to capitalize on your strength improve on your weakness. Mm. If they tell us here yeah, we're going to defend, what are they doing? Mm. If they tell us they're attacking, how many goals have you scored? Have scored yeah. So let's forget about those things. The Gambian team is a team, is a block. Mm -hmm. If they win, they win as a team. If they lose, they lose as a block. Uh, this spiritual thing in football, whether it exists or not, not. it's yet to be it's yet to be to to, to be it to be proved. Waste anybody's time. It's not proved, and yeah. for a head of state to say that yeah. that uh, well, reportedly, the, I have yeah, had that somebody told me the same yes, that yeah. the Gambian team is not a good team. They're not they're winning yeah. because of spiritual powers. Mm -hmm. They've got more spiritual powers yes. in Guinea and all those things. It's fine, but it's not the spirit. You, what we're seeing on the pitch mm -hmm. is not spiritual. Is technical, technical and tactical. Yeah. The players they are fit physically, Absolutely. mentally they are prepared. Mm. Uh, tactically they are very organized and they are solid and they made themselves a very hard nut to crack. Mm -hmm. They very difficult they, they, as individuals you could right. have they got they some came penetration. Out, came out of every match on merits. I like it. it, it, it how, how do you back of Guinea? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, I mean Before going further, I just want to 
remind me of one thing mm -hmm. like what you said about the Guinean president about we, we are Juju people mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, they are trying to prove what they are, <laughs> <laughs> they, are they are talking yeah. more about yes. because I can tell you and um, in a hotel like the delegates in the hotel just go and find find out now yeah. you will have the technical group the players mm -hmm. other people then you have the psychology committee psychology team those are responsible with the juju and the server oh, and everything. Is in that team that you have the Yeah, can you always have the psychology team <laughs> in their delegation. Yes. If they say psychology team, that means you conclude everything. <laughs> that, you see, that you can see, include everything. But they, 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 and Marabu Yes, they, and, 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 and look at it, they always fail. That's yeah. what Sang is telling you. I, I know. And I can remember, you know, from Sang, he used to tell the players or tell people that, uh, or now we are traveling, yeah. always let, let's expect the worst. Yes, of course. Yes, Sang used to tell that that's his philosophy. Yes. Let's accept, expect the worst. Yeah. This why? It may try to yes. prepare them. This, yes, <laughs> all these things. Mm. And also, um, I want to put a blame maybe in a local organizing committee mm. or, you know, mm. next time we have an advanced party. Mm. This advanced yeah. party may come back and okay. explain to us okay. that, that this is what we are going to expect. Expect, oh, I see. Like, like for example, if somebody mm -hmm. who had gone through the fixtures yes. would have known that if we yes. go to stage A, yes. it's going to be like this. I think yeah, they just all pack together and leave. Ah, no, 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 no. They should have sent an advance party. Advance. We'll tell them, look, expect Bakari, this. You have to take a note of that. This will happen. No, but this is that we are first timers. Yeah. We, are first, we will learn. Yeah. We, no. we are learning. We are learning. I remember this. Senegal. Yes, every day goes on like this. Yeah, yeah. There is an advance party. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's a valid point because I remember when we were. I think at the beginning of the formation of the NCC. Yeah. Yeah. No, there is a logistics committee in the NCC mm -hmm. that has mm -hmm. gone to yes, Cameroon. Exactly. Sadibu. Sadibu and, and the there are some of these things you cannot mitigate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you mm -hmm. cannot you didn't know uh -huh. where uh, what position you're going to take uh -huh. and where are you going to but play. Yeah. Uh, 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 certainly. But you should always hope for the best. No, no. The mm -hmm. fact is that if you decide to host an African Cup of Nations, mm -hmm. You should be ready logistically. Well, there that's the that's the that's the reality. And Same I think thing this goes if problem. you want to participate in it. If you are to participate in it. If you are to participate, in it, you must be ready logistically too. Yes, yeah, certainly. You, and that's why we we are there. Yeah. We are we we are ready. And but uh, I I am looking at it more from a force major point mm -hmm. point of view. There is nothing much you c you can do and oh. basically let's also not make a storm in a teacup it <laughs> yes, is I not know. a problem i know yes. there is no not problem a break time, yes. there's not a major <laughs> problem uh in in the camp yes uh they're there they freed up this morning and they are going to actually go to yes. train okay. so they focus on the work absolutely that one i've been reliable informed and i think it's been confirmed okay. by our okay. communications man babukar on the line mm -hmm. good uh, okay let's now talk about the next africa cup of nations because of course uh, this thing we still have business to do but calf yes conducted a draw now despite all what we are doing in, in <laughs> guinea and could have done we still uh, rank among the minos we must have to fight a preliminary like we did uh, against Djibouti. it was the last time that brought us here now it's chad of all places no, okay. but but let me know before before he ah, comes okay. in all right you know this tournament should have been in 2020 yes that's what i'm saying then because if you're doing postponed. if you're using any law yes you have to lose the law for 2020, for 2020. so by 2020 november yes. our stance mm -hmm. in fifa that's is what, what they, they use yes. to categorize us for this year so, that means so this one will yeah. come after ah. why i think the best thing to do i yeah. think nobody should complain on this one yeah. it's unfortunate it happened we're going to the next leg yeah. we would have loved to but look we did it and we are happy we coming from qualifying rounds yeah. preliminaries yeah. and we are here in in, in yes, the last 16. In the last 16. you know how they say it in all of but, uh, I, 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 yeah, but, but yeah. I, I had no. a, uh -huh. well, despite that though i had you know valid criticisms against the system that cap yeah like, you can people like, will like our coach has been saying look at this ridiculous we could have been champions in cameroon and then we go and play the preliminary we, we, you know preliminaries uh so you are Lame, like certainly <laughs> we, this is not the most ideal mm -hmm. situation that we are we yes are. i have seen uh, and heard uh, tom's interview on the matter and i know his views he had very strong views about this yes. let's put this into perspective mm -hmm. the gambia today the next ranking is coming next next yes. month in february yeah. certainly we'll have a oh, yes. significant leap yes. uh, uh, 
uh, it might take us to nearly 1,100 points, right. which will take us significantly up. Mm -hmm. Out of the last 12 that we are now, yeah, yeah. it looks mm -hmm. like, but yeah. we will wait and see. Is that we are 150 mm -hmm. and among the last 12 in Africa. In Africa. These are the facts. Okay. And the competition rule says that there should be a round of uh, preliminaries mm -hmm. before the seedings, before the draw. Yeah. That is what had happened. Mm -hmm. it's, it means we have to play in March right. again. One night. Two matches. Uh, right. Two matches uh, in Jamena yeah. and in Banjul, right. hopefully. Um, Banjul uh, in courts. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because of the, <laughs> because okay. of our, uh, uh, our the, the position yes. of our stadium. Okay. That's why I said hopefully, yeah. uh, because certain adjustments need to be done to our yeah, stadium yeah. to mm -hmm. pass. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then we, we we joined the draw last like what had happened in mm -hmm. the past. Okay, Djibouti, yeah. Suddenly we are not in the class of uh, chart, chart at the moment chart. now <laughs> on paper ah, um, on by paper. the results on paper. On paper. On paper. <laughs> uh, but we'll 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 see right. uh, this. I can tell you authoritatively mm -hmm. from the federation's point okay. of view, mm -hmm. and uh, we have informed this uh, to the ministry mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. We've anticipated this because we know the rules mm -hmm. that we are going to go to preliminaries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we know the rules. Uh, after this Cup of Nations, when we leave the Cup, <laughs> hopefully, ah, hopefully. Uh, we, yeah. will, we will prepare yeah. and participate as we did in mm -hmm. the last one. Mm -hmm. We hope to go to Jamena and win. And play here and yeah. win emphatically Absolutely. and then hopefully in the next cup of nation we will not be in this situation yeah. but we, we will be ready mm -hmm. uh, to participate you know the, the good thing about this one is um, this coming one 2023 is that no matter how we fared in Cameroon the, that will give really every Gambian now a reason you know to make the African cup of nations you know to be followed and you know to be to be embraced religiously mm -hmm. not so I like it Oh yes, certainly yes. Um, really, it is all what we were waiting for. Absolutely. Long time ago. In fact, Gambia football, I uh, think, affiliated uh, to FIFA in 1952. Yeah. And 1968, this um, competition come to proper. Mm -hmm. Yes, so 68 to date, yeah. we've, that's what we've been waiting for. Yeah. And uh, we look at it, every Nation Cup, um, every Gambian will support the team. Mm -hmm. You'll find them, some people will say, I'm supporting Cameroon. Supporting Morocco, Absolutely. supporting it Chad, was like that, supporting, yeah. yeah, it was like that. Yeah. Now, now, today, every Gambian, yeah. we go back to the Gambian bench, yeah. they're supporting Gambian. Yeah. So, this it's, it's, it's quite possible. Good. Yes, we are going, we are heading to that. No, love yes. I had a call from the vice president yesterday. Yeah. And we were talking, he said, well, sang Legi, what's next? Yes. I'm going to give them the 16. Uh, Legi, we'll just carry on doing the job. Absolutely. And uh, we'll just try to focus on what brought us here mm -hmm. and how can we move from here like I said earlier on learn what is your strength and your weakness that you need to improve on let's capitalize on what brought us here hold on to it and try to improve on some of the shortcomings and uh, I think uh, it's going to be a very big ask now mm -hmm. if these people can get to the next 16 next time yeah. they're not going to ask us anything, anything less than that, than that yeah. so the the, the level is, where we are where we putting the bar yeah. is getting too high. too high whether it's realistic whether we can get yeah. there again yeah. then it comes back to us the technicians yeah. to advise them on what we think needs to be done to get to the next level throughout last week i have to but, but some already <laughs> you're working towards that yeah uh, one of the uh, actions been taken to ensure that we continuously increase our player pool mm -hmm. in the professional cadre okay in big leagues across the world yeah. once you have players uh, or you reach that critical mass, mass of players playing in big leagues yeah. you will certainly have a strong national, strong team. national team that is why our approach yeah of this is one not it's not one of it's something of sustainability yeah. exactly so that we in 2023, 2023 we go to yeah. uh Cote d'Ivoire exactly uh in 2025 yeah uh, whoever is hosting it yeah. we, we actually go there yeah. and also not forgetting about the sub-regional competitions yeah. like Wafus the Wafus and the chance uh, uh, and the, and the chan chan as, as, as well and as a country mm -hmm. uh, we can do it mm -hmm. I can assure you learning yeah. We have the organization. Mm -hmm. 
We at the Gambia Football Federation, together in partnership with uh, whether it's the GNOC or the GFF, we have the organization, we have the know-how, mm -hmm. all right? And we have the will uh, to, to do it. Uh, what we need more is funding. funding. Funding to participate, funding to improve our infrastructure in the country mm -hmm. so that this assembly line can yeah. continue. Mm -hmm. No, well, already we know how to produce good players. Yeah, let me just uh, add on to what yeah. uh, Bax just finished saying, mm -hmm. that we've planned, we've got a program. Uh, this l past four years mm -hmm. was utilized to do a proper uh, situational analysis. Okay. And I think uh, we know what's what presently. Mm -hmm. And the structure has been sketched. Mm -hmm. We know exactly where we start with we just start introducing under 15 league. Yeah. We got our third division regional leagues. Mm -hmm. We've got our four second division national league, male and female, fourth division male and league. You go to the national teams, we've got under 17, under 20, under 23 senior. So it's catch. We know exactly what we want. Mm -hmm. Now we have to put flesh into this structure. Yeah, into structure. The fourth year, we've created the structure. It's there, yeah. but we need to beef it up. Okay. Or when you sketch with your pencil, yeah. and then you have to use your color pencils okay. and put the colors and all these things. Right. So yeah. that's where we are exactly. The next four years yeah. will be to yeah. beef up that skeleton that skeleton. we've got in place. Good. Last words now. Um, Alagi, yeah. I, I think we we'll talk about Guinea. Yeah. What's your What's your prediction? No, no. Actually, it's a it's a it's a, it's a win game for God for Gambia. Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, Guinea Guinea knows us. Not now. Yeah. It was a long time. We were winning them. Yeah. And you know, um, it's this football. Mm -hmm. It's just like um, the spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand the spirit. Yeah. But the spirit between Gambia and Guinea is Gambia must win, and Gambia was winning them. Yes. Son, in fact, I keep I struggle to mm -hmm. deflect questions and inquiries as to why Sang is not <laughs> in Cameroon <laughs> as technical director. So I L say, well, when I get him next week, I'll get him to answer that. Lamin. <laughs> If I was in Cameroon, yeah. I wouldn't be here to yeah, enlighten Absolutely. People. Not everybody can be on the plane. They, have, keep, they keep asking me yeah, the same yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I tell you, you yeah, be because said, Bax said, is here. Said, He's the first vice president. To be fair, I was selected, mm -hmm. but I declined to come. Now, so, Bax is the first vice president. Yeah, he's, he's here. here. Yeah, he's. I am the technical director. I'm here. Yes, yes. And we are creating that awareness. awareness we want people yes, to know what's yes, happening. Yes, if not, we go and we leave them in the dark, what I'm doing here, yeah. I'm doing at the Gambia TV I'm, also. Yes. I'm covering all the games and I'm telling them. Yeah. And when you have Gambian matches, I would give them build up to the matches. Exactly. I will analyze at halftime. I will and analyze. I'm sure you're always the on the phone. Yeah. Right? And it's always very yeah. good. Yeah. It's not that all of us should go to. If I no, go no, to Cameroon no, no, and as a tourist, yes. stay in the hotel, go watch game, come ah, back like that. Yes. It's no. Yes. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to attend to the media guys that wants to know about the team mm -hmm. because I am directly involved yeah. in the building of, of this team, mm -hmm. whether I like it or not. Yes. I am in it, and my department is doing the same thing. Okay. Now, going to this Guinea match yeah. uh, is something like. Day one or seven, we got four and about 12 draws, something like that, roughly, uh, off head. But all these wins that Guinea had or has come of late. Mm. From 86, my last international was against Guinea. Yeah. We drew here and we lost 2-0 or 1-0 in Conakry. I can fully remember. Mm -hmm. But by then, mm -hmm. Guinea, mm -hmm. Mali, yeah. Mauritania, yeah. Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, mm -hmm. all these players were under the Gambia. Yeah. Whenever we play, we will win them. Okay. It doesn't matter however good they used to be. Yeah. But, they, they, we but are the best they saw the light before us. They know where the doors and where. the windows are. Yes. They know you have to invest in your players or go and get players in Europe mm -hmm. and let them come and play. Yeah. Now we know how, we to, know do how to do it. We are producing our players. We're sending them to Europe. Yeah. Luckily, we've got a few of them going of late. Going up we will have enough and it will continue. We're not going for a quick fix. Mm -hmm. Go and see a 25, 35 year old yeah. who is good, like Messi, right. and he wants to change his nationality and come and play for Gambia. Uh, no, no, but we want to produce players here. Yeah. You grow up here, you play until 16, 17, 18. Then you go into Europe with that African or Gambian mentality in you. Yeah. And you come back, you play. If we have more of them and we continue producing, mm -hmm. that's where the GFF comes in. Oh. Our youth programs needs to be vibrant. We need to involve the youth and produce more, mm -hmm. better players. Support teams yeah. to develop youth players. You know, it's difficult. GFF cannot support. It's a community 
Baima, Munuta and Bailen. Yeah, if you can say, uh, if you can free yourself, yeah. how can you free somebody you else? Free somebody, yes. One of my friends, Ali Umbub, normally says that. So that's, uh, that's the position of GFF. Yeah. So if we, if GFF can do much, mm -hmm. we can also get in helping the teams in uh, structuring their teams. I'm sure so you must have some direct or indirect influence on the, our choice of goalkeepers. Uh, Babuka okay, did tremendously well <laughs> in the match against Tunisia. Well, the boy is a German, mm -hmm. and he went through the goalkeeper school. I had some school. say Swedish. It was German, actually. It's German. It's he Gambian went, German. He went through the goalkeeper school. Wow, wow, when we wow, saw wow. him, he was 16, but nice. he was taller than me. Yeah. And I was taller than Mata <laughs> and <laughs> Ibu Fai. We were yeah, right. together. Yeah, okay. And we spoke to the mom. The yeah. mom didn't even want him to travel because he was too young. Yeah. Once he came up to Belgium, mm -hmm. and they had to say, because he didn't have clearance from the parents. I see. So yes, he's okay. a young boy. He's he got everything. Okay, uh, Joe yeah. have done it all. all it, yeah. He knows exactly how to play in the national team. Yeah, he's growing older. Mm -hmm. He needs somebody. Yeah. Like I said, if I coach a team mm -hmm. and win 10 trophies mm -hmm. and leave the team and the team cannot win a single trophy, then mm -hmm. I failed. Yeah, well, yes. Because there was nothing like a succession planning mm -hmm. that I'm sitting here today. Mm -hmm. If I get up here, I want Bucks to come and sit here. Mm -hmm. Bucks will prepare somebody else. Then the philosophy or the program will flow and go to the end. Bax, finally, <laughs> Mozilla President. <laughs> Suddenly, we have a good team. Yeah. They've sown it on the field. Absolutely. You said it. Mm -hmm. The local press said it. Mm -hmm. The international press said actually it. Said, said it. We've seen Guinea. I think we are hopeful that we'll win against Guinea. Mm -hmm and go to the next round against the host, which is the round of eight, which is the quarterfinals. And your bar will even go higher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're lifting it, raising it high. <laughs> I, uh, we are very grateful. Yes. We, as a country, we've come together uh -huh. uh, to support this good this, team yes. that we put together. Exactly. We, then I would like to thank everybody right. uh, for that yeah. and continue actually that. Mm -hmm. Sang has just said, mm -hmm. which is important, which is our plan. Mm -hmm. We already have a plan to ensure that we on art all Gambian players anywhere in the yeah. world. Yeah. So that's why we have a database of a, a significant over nearly 200 yeah. that is Gamb being monitored. Gambians, players with Gambian heritage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Both male and female, female. now. Mm -hmm. What has been at the junior category is being monitored mm -hmm. from his department. Mm -hmm. At the senior category is monitored again yeah. from the technical and development committees. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, point of view and the senior national teams mm -hmm. going to be so that we can produce uh, many teams yeah. today and into the into the future uh, so this is all possible because a lot of work has actually gone and through this and this work I can assure you will continue uh, from the side of the Federation we have support uh, from our government mm -hmm. the already more than two million dollars of a hundred million dollars mm -hmm. has been spent, has yeah. been committed. Yeah. And this is the estimation uh, to the fourth round. When as we progress for the next round, we need much more money. And I'm sure the Ministry of Finance <laughs> people <laughs> if they're listening. Ask if they, they're scratching their heads, I am sure about, about this. Uh, because football is actually expensive. Yeah. But the benefit far outweighs it. Yeah. I was out and about when we won against Tunisia. See what had happened to our country. Happy. We all got happy and everybody, we forgot everything else. Everybody forgot everything. And uh, as we speak today, yeah. uh, many scouts are already in the country yeah, yeah. looking at our league. league. Yeah. I was Real de Banyul game yesterday. Yeah. I, uh, there is more than four scouts there from different look places. Countries. They were actually looking. So more, it would provide more opportunity yeah. to local players to yeah. turn professional. Good. So it's a good investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we will be sitting down here talking against Cameroon mm -hmm. next time. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alani. Um, yes, um, actually seeing with Bakari, but um, all uh, what I can tell you is the credit goes to the president, mm -hmm. uh, Kaba himself, Kaba yeah. Bajo. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what his, about what with, about the, the head his, of state? With his, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's the chief, chief petrol. Yeah, yeah. But um, on the football side. Yeah. Um, with including his uh, vice president and his technical committee. He always yeah. listened to them. Actually, and he's always willing to work with them. Mm -hmm. 
uh, you know, unlike in those days, sang mm. most. Mm. When you make your selection, make everything, president will just come and come there. Rang it definitely. No change in Kuni. I have never heard that from him. Yes, yes. And uh, really, um, they are doing very well. Yeah. The technical committee, thank, thank you very much. Sang Bakari and others. Mm. Really. Good. Thank you. Alaji Fight, executive member of GFF, Bakari Jabbe, first vice president, and Sang Dong, technical director. Thank you all for being on the brunch. We we'll hope we'll be back next week to talk about the Court of Violence. Come on. Thank Shall you. Allah. We'll be back next week. Until then, goodbye for now. Thank you, Lamin. Thank you. Data, now even better. Enjoy 20% extra data on all Gamsel data bundles. Buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes. Buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes. Buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes. Any amount of Gamsel data bundle you buy, you will receive 20% extra data for free. Dial star 302 star. Data amount hash. Or go to your Yaibor menu and choose your data bundle now. Gamsel data is fast, last long and very reliable. Gamsil Yaiborong. For all your pastry. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.